Here's the field for race nine. One is Sassy Abu, owned by Mary Wolf, Kim Godfrey, and Larry Coder, driven by Brett Merkel. Two Hills War Feather, owned by Tony Weir with Jeff Fout. Three Chatelaine Hanover, owned by Robert Del Bianco. Rangeman is Ron Carr Bone. Four is Flash Paper, owned by John Perrin. Jim Daly will be aboard. Five is Amy Q, owned by Randy and Kim Owens. Mike Uren and Ross Chambers with Mike Wilder. Here's the sixth sensational Sherry, owned by Harold Fravel with Charlie Conrad. Seven, Honey Bun Osborne, owned by Herbie Brown with Doug Routsong. Eight is Romy Ann, owned by Fred Bates and driver Dave Rankin. Nine is Truly Sam's, owned by Eldon Peterson, driven by Mark Winters. From the second tier, ten is Ultra Sabra. Owned by Richard War and Paul Wonder, Dave Miller will be in the sulky. Field for tonight's ninth race, post time in five minutes. Field four, race nine is at the gate. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Middle of the racetrack, Amy Q takes the lead. Between horses, Chatelaine Hanover second. On the rail, Sassy Abu third. Out of the second tier, the favorite, Ultra Saber to fourth. As they make the way to the first quarter, Hills War Feather. After that, it's Flash Paper, Sensational Sherry, Honey Bun Osborne, Romian, and Truly Sams. Field of 10, quarter pole bound. Out on top, it's Amy Q in easy length. Amy Q leads the way here, Sassy Abu. Driving up on the outside for Brett Merkel, they open up 28 and 4. Sassy Abu brushes to the front. Dave Miller has tugged the right line. Ultra Sabra comes with a rush onto the finish line the first time. Sassy Abu will not sting the favorite. She'll accept that cover as they move into the clubhouse turn. Halftime will come up on the board here as they hit the half mile station. Ultra Sabra leads the way. Sassy Abu second. Amy Q, the once pace setter, is third. They're at the half mile pole, 57 and 2. Out of the turn and down the backstretch. Ultra Sabra has got the top. Here comes Sensational Sherry driving up on the outside. Along the rail, Sassy Abu third. Late kick on the outside. Amy Q to fourth. Followed by Honey Bun Osborne out in moving fifth. Nowhere to go for Hills, War, Feather, and Chatelaine Hanover. Uh, Romy uh, Ann is up on the far outside. Toward the rail, flash paper, and the trailer is long shot. Truly Sam's by three quarters and a sharp 127 and three. Three mares are across the track, vying for command. Ultra Sabra along the rail under confident handling. Sensational Sherry is in the center. Amy Q is up on the outside. 16th of a mile to pace. Driving up on the far outside, though, here comes Romy Ann to get the lead. It's Romy Ann on the far outside. Sensational Sherry fighting back. Two wide here, and who do you like? Romy Ann on the far outside. Result of tonight's ninth race is now official. Here's Romy Ann, a four-year-old bay mare by Falcon Elmhurst out of Fan Ann. Owned by Fred Bates and driver trainer Dave Rankin of Mount Perry in Thornville. Covering the mile here in 157 and 1, 8, Romy Ann, the winner of tonight's ninth race pace. The 8-6 exact, they're returning $166.80. The trifecta, 7 67 60. Windows are now open on tonight's 10th race. Post time will be in 14 minutes at 10.45. Next post will be 10.45. In a 10th race, we have a couple of driver changes. In fact, there's now three. Three driver changes in tonight's 10th race. Number two, Nona Bluegrass. The driver is Jason Brewer. Number two, Nona Bluegrass. The driver is Jason Brewer.